it's now three o'clock on the 13th of April. Flop has been laying underneath the magic maternity tree for, oh, let's see, close to seven hours now. And she's been moving around back and forth, back and forth. Her belly is just swelling up. And she keeps trying to get comfortable and trying to take a nap. I have a feeling she's going to deliver tonight. Just, I'll try to get a real close up of her belly. It's all swollen, hanging down. And actually, her belly is swollen up so high her spine just raises up. And then her butt area is just protruding out greatly. She keeps licking her nipples to make sure you get, you know, just keep them lubricated. And then now she looks like she's going to try to take a nap. That's a girl. Yeah, she's going to deliver real soon. Yeah, pretty girl. She's the great, great, great grandmother of everybody here. She has, and for the past four years, she's had twins. Her last year's set of twins, Tweedledee and Tweedle Dumpling, are just as pregnant as mom is, and I have a feeling they're going to have twins too. And then Crook is one of her daughters. Actually, Crook is the daughter of one of her daughters. She's a granddaughter, and so is Precious. So is Baby Doll. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty flop. She's going to rest for a while. You can see her ear just keeps falling over on her. She keeps trying to focus it even while she's taking a nap. And she's a pretty girl. Sure. If I'm out back, she's not near where she's at right now, or out in the back anywhere, she'll come over and want to walk beside me and want me to scratch her ears. She's a sweetheart. I'm going to leave her sleep. I think you see her back area right behind her rear leg just keeps jumping and she's getting real close and hopefully she'll get a nice rest because I have a feeling tomorrow she's going to be having a little one one or two behind her it's April 13th at Buttercup's Deer Haven a little after three. That's no, actually five after three now.